This is Tim Rogers from Dodgers 2080 here out at Rancho Cucamonga. We have a special day today um, with Julio Urias doing a rehab start for the Dodgers and so he's going to be doing his thing today. But also we have one of the most talked about prospects in the Dodgers system. Um, he's for some he's come out of nowhere for some of us who've been following a little bit we saw what he was doing last year this is Josue de Pala welcome aboard Josue thank Josue. you God, I just called you Jose. no problem thank you thank you for having me okay so you have kind of an interesting story first of all you're you're 18 you just turned 18 and then um you were born in Brooklyn but you were an international free agent and yeah. you signed what 2022 uh, twenty. Yeah, I think it was twenty twenty one. It was twenty two. Oh, you did January. Yeah, I okay. did January. Okay. January. Um, and so, can you tell us a little bit just about your background and how it's maybe a little different from some of the other guys that uh, were international free agents? Um, coming from. You want me to hold it? Yeah, go ahead. All right. Uh, no, coming from Brooklyn, so it was it was kind of weird because I never had like college plan. So the thing that really moved me to like being an international, you know player was uh, actually COVID. So oh. when COVID hit, school was shut down. So we were doing everything through Zoom. And when everything was shut down, gyms, we weren't playing baseball no more. So when that shut down, everything for me was just, you know, stay at home and then it wasn't really for me. Yeah. So I really wanted to go play baseball. And my dad asked me, he was like, you want to really go play baseball and then get this, get this done? I was like, yep, that's my dream. So just went after. So you went out there, what, in 2020, 2021 then? Uh, 2021. I don't remember. Yep, 2021. Okay. Beginning. And then, um, okay, so that means that you are all of a sudden not, quote, part of the draft because you probably, mm -hmm. I mean, let's, I mean, straight up, mm -hmm. you would be finishing high school this year. Yeah, it's going to be my senior year. Yeah. All, all my friends are graduating. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, and it's a high school in, in the New York area? Mm hmm. It's, you want me to say it? Yeah, sure. It's called, uh, I was in Benjamin Cardoza. Cardoza. Very cool. Yeah. Shout out to ben Benjamin Cardoza High School. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, you'd be finishing high school and the draft was coming up and you'd be subject to the draft. Instead, you got a nice head start. Yep. Um, you, can, can you talk a little bit about why you signed with the Dodgers? The Dodgers? I mean, it wasn't really my choice, but okay. I'm hap happily I did sign with the Dodgers out of all, out of all the organizations. I'm really happy that I did. But I just, I just got lucky with the Dodgers. Got a trial for them, killed it, thank God, and now I'm here. That's awesome. I mean, it's just in, and, and so have you always, I mean, do me a quick solid, mm -hmm. stand up for us. So, 6'3, <laughs> right? Yeah. You can sit back down if you okay. want. It's up to you. <laughs> um, so, he, you're 6'3. How, how, have you always been tall? Um, tall? You yeah. Hold it again? Yeah, it's All up right, to cool. you. Um, tall, I wasn't like always like the tallest, especially like in my class, but I was always either average or above average. Okay. I think I really hit my growth spurt around like high school. Yeah. Okay. Did uh, okay. The dumb question for everyone who's taller: Did you play basketball in high school? Did I play? No. I I just played it for fun. Yeah. Probably with friends and stuff like that, but never just like just took it serious. Never basketball. I really took it serious. No. Yeah. So you're um, you're a lefty all the way. Mm -hmm. Um, and so you're growing. Did you? I mean, just so these are kind of the questions because you're left-handed I'm actually left-handed mm -hmm. I got to play high school baseball only because I threw left-handed and mm -hmm. got to pitch did you ever pitch in high school pitching actually yeah, yeah. I was a uh, <laughs> I still uh, pitched a lot during when I was coming up and I was I was actually gonna pitch I think my second game of high school but I only played one game during high school and uh, everything got shut down after that but I actually used to pitch a lot actually okay. yeah so just in case you got a future in that too, right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Two-way player, right? Or new Shohei. Okay, so now you've signed with the Dodgers. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, if you compare, no offense to any of the high school guys, but let's be honest, the Dodgers player development and the hitting coaches and all that are way above high school, way above college probably and everything, like, even though the colleges are getting better. Mm -hmm. Do you see a benefit of that on how you developed as a hitter? Um, for sure, for sure. Like you said, there's a lot of, I feel like a lot of advantages we have, especially like um, knowledge that we have around us, even technology. So there's definitely a lot. I mean, I never got to experience college. I don't know what that's like. Mm -hmm. uh, especially, not even high school, especially in New York, high school baseball yeah. is kind of iffy, you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> so yeah, so um, definitely we have 
a huge advantage, I feel, especially here in this organization. Okay, very cool. Um, now, it, it just as, a, as an observer, passive observer, watching you swing the bat during mm -hmm. spring training, or actually sometimes not. So mm -hmm. I saw a lot of at-bats where you were, seemed like you have a really good eye up there and mm -hmm. also have kind of a gift of fouling off the pitch mm -hmm. until you get what you want. I saw like a 10 pitch at bat where you just kept fouling it off. And and so what, you know, I, I don't know if that's a God given thing or mm -hmm. is that developed? You know, you're, you're, it seems like you have a good eye. Do you think you have mm -hmm. a good eye? Definitely. Okay. I feel like it's one of, like it's one of my strongest attributes, my eyes, so, yeah. I feel like definitely, definitely, definitely it's God given. God okay. Given. Thank God above for it. That's it. I'm with you, man. Amen on that. Yeah. Um, so there's been comparisons out there. Mm -hmm. Who? So first of all, when you were growing up, who was your favorite b baseball player? Favorite baseball player, dude. Ugh. I always, always like, it's kind of weird it's, it's since I'm like so young, but I always, because of my dad, like Ken Griffey, Barry Bonds, my dad was crazy about those two, so. Yeah. Uh, Ken Griffey, you know, lefty swing, amazing, sweet swing, and uh, Barry Bonds, home run king, so it had to be in between those two. Yeah, um, in some, you know, the, uh, it's just for some reason, it just seems like this is the case. Mm -hmm. A lefty swing just looks better than a righty swing. Think Does, so? Doesn't it seem like it? Yeah, I think so I mean, too. Ken Griffey Jr., I think the only, I mean, some of the righty hitters have been amazing or like uh, Pujols and stuff, but even mm -hmm. that is just kind of, he's such a big dude. Mm -hmm. But then you see Griffey and Bonds, um, Will Clark, I don't know if you're, you're, old, you're way younger than I am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he's, my, he's younger than both my kids. <laughs> and some of the kids that I coached, I'm, they're starting to graduate. They're still, you're probably younger than most of them. Mm -hmm. But very cool. Um, yeah, so now, do you emulate your game after anybody? Emulate my game after, like yeah, current players. You you know you pitchers will go. I want to be like you know. I like to watch Clayton Kershaw. Or is there mm -hmm. any hitters that you like to watch? Uh, hitters that I like to watch. There's actually one, but he's not a he's not a um big league guy. Oh, he actually really impressed me when I was in AZ. His name is Eli de la Cruz. And what? Eli. Oh, that dude, bro. When I saw him, it was <laughs> crazy. Really, really. Shut, shut the lights out in the game. It was amazing. So and that's speed. that's one of the speed. Yeah, I love the way how he plays it. Even though he's not even in the outfield, but just the way how he plays the game. He's quick, big dude. I love the way how that dude plays the game. So, did uh, so speaking of playing in the field, mm -hmm. you know, you've been playing a lot of outfield. Mm -hmm. Where are you comfortable in any of the certain positions? I mean, I see you starting all over. I think you're starting in right today. Yeah, right. right. Okay, mm -hmm. but you've been in center. Yeah, I've been. I think only been in center once here, but okay. right. I feel like it's definitely. I feel really, really good and right. Get that right pitching now. arm, and you know, since you got a strong arm. Yes, right? sir. Do you ever play first base? First base when I was younger, yes. Yeah. Well, when you're left-handed. You have to play first base. It's yeah. part of it. Yep. <laughs> I was everywhere. Pitcher. I was a pitcher, first base, outfielder. So I was, I was everywhere. <laughs> Tell you, man. Some of the best times was when I got to play positions. Or my younger son, who's a lefty, mm -hmm. he, in a JV high school game, he got to play second base. Really? Even though he's a lefty, he loved it. <laughs> and his friend, who was a lefty, was at short. So it was a. It was fun. They had a great time. But so now, okay, last year you were in the DSL or the a a ACL? Uh, I, I could just. Uh, no, last year it was DSL. DSL okay, DSL. Sure. And then uh -huh. this year you started in the ACL? Uh, no, I didn't, I didn't get to play any games. You mean that's like the Arizona League, right? Yeah, yeah. The, no, I didn't get to play any games. It was like soon as spring training was oh, done, yeah. I came here. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I and they yeah that. they do that long spring training for you guys and everything. Yeah. Um, was that the fir your first time in Arizona? First time in Arizona. Actually, no, that was my second time because okay. after um, DSL, we, we went there to do instructs. Oh, that's right. You and then we went back home. That's right. Yeah. Yep. Very cool. And then um, now... First time in Southern California? Mm-hmm. What do you think, man? I think it's actually, like, especially here, it's pretty nice. Everything's pretty clean. Yeah. It's chill. So I think it's a, I think it's a pretty cool place. What's your, uh, you got any favorite things you do? Like, what do you do on your off day on Monday? Off day on Monday, I'm not gonna lie, it's mostly sleep. Like, yeah. sleep, probably do some laundry, <laughs> or watch a movie, eat something, probably go out to Chipotle, that's, I love Chipotle. And uh, it's just a chill day. I don't really do anything too crazy. Yeah. Now, let me... Okay, I got to ask this question. Because a lot of Latin players love Chipotle. Yeah. Why? I, what's the... What's the what, what drags you to it? I think because it's the most similar... Like, the most, like, similar thing we used to. Like, to have at home. Yeah. Like, rice, beans, steak, I guess, chicken. So, it's really, like, 
kind of like Latin food. That's why we like it, I guess. That's cool though. I mean, yeah. it's it's just, just one of those things to know. I mean, for us, you know, like I live in San Diego, we go to taco shops and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But you know, for us, you know, as Americans, we don't, I mean, what are, what are our nature, natural foods are Mexican food, Italian food, mm -hmm. burgers, which are German. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? All this type of stuff is just so, we don't kind of have our natural, our native type stuff. And you, you, you guys have this, you know, culture of, how you know what you eat normally and stuff like that now are you watching are they making you watch your diet here at all at rancho um watch your diet yeah um, like making sure you're eating i, I say definitely for sure because like here we have like people that cook for us especially in the morning and the afternoon between games even um dinner we eat here so it's mostly here um I guess the only time we really get to eat outside is during our off days. So yeah. most of the times we're eating here, so they're watching it for us, I guess. Saving money that way. Yeah, too. definitely saving <laughs> a lot of money. Everything's expensive yeah. now. and uh, So who's your roommate? Roommate. Great or roommates? Uh, Nick Bittison and yeah. um, Kyle Nevin. All right. Yeah, Very two cool. guys. Yeah. It's my guys right there. Yeah, Kyle actually, um, my son probably played against him back in the day because really? he's from the San Diego area. Okay. And so that, that's where we're from. And, um, and Nick, I met a lot. I saw him last year, but didn't meet him. But met him in spring training. Mm -hmm. Plays all over the place. Right. I don't even know where he's playing today. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I was always asking where you're playing today. All right. So are there, is there anything about you that you want the, the fans to know about? You know, maybe just some interesting stories or just some goals or things like that. You, you kind of open mic, you say whatever you want. Or you want to talk about music, you want to talk about movies. <laughs> no, uh, a thing about me? Um, I really, I'm just a chill kid that's just loving the game of baseball, just loves playing it. And has a dream one day of coming to the big leagues Hall of Famer. So, just focus on that. Not nothing really special. Just love playing the game. That's it. That's all it is about me. Oh, and then if I wasn't, let's say if this wasn't a thing, yeah, like baseball, I feel like I would like to go like box. I think that's my second thing. Yeah, box. Nice. Yeah. You got a like favorite boxing. boxer? Boxing probably be probably be Floyd. Oh yeah. Yeah, I like Floyd. Mayweather. Yeah, is, uh, he's what's quick. his name? Calls him Mayweather. Yeah. What's that guy's name? The the Irish guy calls him Mayweather. The, uh, w, the uh, MMA guy. I can't remember uh, his name. Connor? Yeah, Connor. Connor. called him me. What <laughs> Connor McGregor, yeah. <laughs> always fun. Yeah, I mean, when I grew up, boxing was, you know, Muhammad Ali. Yeah. Sugar Ray Leonard and all those great, Tyson. great fighters. Tyson. Oh, yeah. my gosh. When he came on the scene, it was it was like, who is this who guy? Who is this guy, He's right? just amazing. So you, I mean, how much you weigh then? Right now, right now, I'm about like 208, 207 right so now. So you'd be fighting heavyweight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's, a, yeah, that would be, the, those are the big boys. Well, cool. We appreciate your time. Um, the, Do you know, Dodger fans are going to start getting to know you. You're going to start getting, you know, more autograph requests and all that type of stuff. We want to just get to know you before you're the starting in the outfield at Dodger Stadium, you know, right. maybe ma moving Mookie to second base permanently. <laughs> <laughs> you got to like that, right? Yeah. Well, have you met Mookie? I uh, actually have. I'm um, spring training. We, we only exchanged a few words, but he sounds like a really, really cool dude. I love to talk to him more. And uh, everybody, really, even Freddie Freeman, they all seem like really cool, chill dudes. So I'll, I would love to even talk to them more one day. You and Freddie Freeman interesting swings really I mean, yeah i mean you guys seem to not just be dead pull and all that stuff yeah, yeah i feel like the opposite everybody says that even in bp like it's really rare you see me like pulling balls mine's just up the middle out ball so a lot of people said the same thing that's the key to success i think as a former high school player and little league coach mm. <laughs> <laughs> i like to see that okay well thank you very much no thank we you we appreciate Bobby. it man thank take you. care of yourself and right. have a good game today all right thank, thank you. you all right thank man you. Thanks.